Hi everybody, I'm Steven. Welcome to the Q Center. The Q Center at ACR Health is a safe space for lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, and queer and questioning youth, their families, and allies to gather, share, and receive support. Hi, my name is Annabelle Fears, and I'm the Youth Housing Case Manager. I help out those LGBTQ folks between the ages of 18 and 24 who are dealing with a homelessness situation, who may have been kicked out due to LGBTQ status. I'm able to be matched with them to make sure that they can get an apartment set up for them. We help them with their rental payments and we also assist with employment. It is challenging to be able to uplift a young person's spirits after a situation like that and help them reach their goals. You might not be able to stay there every single step of the way, but you know, those baby steps along with them makes a world of difference and we can see that with any of our clients at ACR Health. My name is Talia Shenandoah and I am the Youth Development Specialist for the Q Center. And I get to do outreach and education. So um, outreach means going out into the community and doing tabling events, uh, giving resources and information, making sure that the public knows that we exist and how important we are as well as educating the public on how to be um, culturally competent when working with the LGBTQ community. The biggest challenges that we're facing since the COVID-19 pandemic is youth engagement and participation. Having to work in a virtual space might not work for all young people, and so uh, the biggest challenge that we have had as a staff is trying to find ways to be creative with our virtual spaces and trying to offer as much you know, support and um, information to young people to make the transition into a virtual space possible for them. Hi, my name is Oliver. I grew up in a conservative religious area of Northern New York. My mom was very supportive, but my father took longer to become supportive. I was always curious about the Q Center, but was hesitant to come. The first time I finally worked up the courage to come to a group, I never looked back. Now I've been participating in support groups for about three years and have received care management support. The Q Center helped me navigate the complicated system of gender change during the pandemic. I wish I had known about them before I came out. Thanks Q Center for helping me to reach all of my goals. I came out in 2016 in a small town where people aren't very open-minded. I heard about the Q Center from a friend and went to go check it out with them. It gave me a place to go where I felt safe to be myself and to share things that I wouldn't feel comfortable sharing anywhere else. People at the Q Center provided me with rides to and from group when my parents' car wasn't working and to doctor's appointments that were pretty far away. In addition to group sessions and care management transition support, they also helped me with legal matters, locating a therapist that works for me, and finding coping strategies that for whatever I was going through. When I was struggling and felt like I didn't have anyone to talk to, Someone at the Q Center would always be a listening ear and help me work through the problem. There are so many things that I could list off that the Q Center has done for me and my friends, but overall, they have given me a sense of community that I didn't feel before. I am forever grateful to everyone who works at the Q Center and for everything that they've done for me. I truly believe that they helped save my life. I'm a family peer advocate and I work with parents and caregivers of LGBTQ youth, specifically um, trans and gender expansive youth. When a child comes out, a lot of times parents don't know where to turn. They feel like maybe they're the only ones going through this. When children, you know, when youth and adolescents come out, you know, can be sane. They're looking for somebody that understands them, that accepts them for who they are. And ACR with the Q Center, makes that possible. They have a sense of community. Working with families is a very important thing. It's where my passion lies. I am able to help parents who are scared and don't know, you know, what to do or where to turn, and I'm able to link them to the providers that they need to make it through their journey. Hi, my name is Lori. I've been involved with the Q Center for about four and a half years. Uh, when my child first came to my husband and myself to tell us that he was transgender, we didn't really understand what that meant. And um, trying to find um, places to answer our questions, answer my son's questions, help him out, I came across the Q Center and um, I called the very next day and spoke to Karen for a good long time, cried a lot, 
Uh, she was very patient with me and she told me about the meetings. I started going to the meetings and met other parents in the same situation. It was just wonderful um, being able to talk to other families in the same situation uh, with the same understandings and um, similar stories. And it was a good way to find out about surgeries and hormones and different things that would help my child. And it was just, I want to thank the Q Center so much for helping my child become his authentic self. My name is Shelby Kusan LaRue and I am the Comprehensive Adolescent Pregnancy Prevention Supervisor. Our program's main goal is to connect young people in the community to sexual and reproductive health care services. So I think one of the biggest challenges that our um, program faces is stigma in the community. There's a lot of misinformation out there. Um, Young people are afraid to access services because they don't have all of the information. Um, the education isn't mandated in schools, so we can provide that education. So our challenge is getting that information out there and breaking that stigma and fear of backlash from parents or guardians finding out that young people are getting connected to those services. My name is Anthony. I am the HIV and STD tester at the Q Center. I work for the Young Men's Program. We provide HIV and STD testing for young men that partner with other men ages 13 to 29. When someone comes in to get tested with me and they are feeling extremely scared or nervous about what they might find out during um, their testing appointment, the opportunity to give someone accurate information to keep themselves safe is very satisfying to me and it's really what keeps me going. I think that it's really important that people recognize the work that the Q Center does. Those donations go towards helping these young people uh, meet their basic needs. There is such a lack of resources for LGBTQ individuals in general, and this is, you know, this is even more difficult for young people, and it's so important, it's crucial to their development that they have safe and supportive spaces and that they have you know, the ability to connect with people and to be able to find themselves and figure out who they are. Most of our work is based on grants and grants come with a lot of restrictions and rules that limit the type of work that we can do and the type of support we can give to our community. Um, so when money comes in directly from people to donate, we can use that for more things that maybe a grant doesn't cover and it's important that we cover all of our bases because we're providing really important life-saving and life-supporting work here at the Q Center.